The Hitachi Zaxxis 1000K is a large machine with a weight of around 100 tonnes. In this configuration it's fitted with an Okada crusher. NZG has produced this model in three versions, 781 is in the colours of Hitachi, 78101 is in the colours of Van Vliet of Holland, and 78102 is in the colours of Van Groningen of Holland. All three versions come in pretty identical packaging, which is a large Hitachi branded box, and looking at the labelling on the box, this model is being produced in conjunction with Kencraft of Japan. Inside the box there are the usual large expanded polystyrene trays. These are taped up and factory sealed, and in addition there's a single sheet of instructions which is in colour, and that explains how to carry out the main assembly of the model. To start by opening the box, we'll look at what's inside the top tray which is sealed up. And when you lift the lid you find that it's empty, and that's because this version of the model doesn't use the top tray at all, but there's no need to panic because all of the parts are contained in the bottom tray. It's good to see that the main parts are wrapped in soft paper to protect the paintwork and when you take some of that away you see that the various parts include the body of the machine. The arm of the machine is a separate piece and comes complete with the crusher tool attached. There's a pack of separate counterweight slabs which get loaded onto the back of the machine and there's also a small bag of parts including some spare track links. The only other unpacking to do is to remove the elastic bands which have been fitted to the crawler tracks. We will start the assembly by fitting the multi-boom onto the boom foot and the assembly really is very easy because it just hooks into place and there are a couple of steel pins which are used to secure the connection. The model is well made because as long as the holes are lined up then the pins easily push into place. Once both pins are in place you have a strong and secure connection. To improve the stability there are some counterweights which fit into the tray at the back and these are made in four separate pieces and you just drop those into the holder at the back and you have to be a little bit careful as to where you put them in because uh, they can get a little bit dislodged if you don't put them in straight and true but once they're in they add some useful extra weight to the model the last thing to do is to join up the hydraulics across the boom connection the hydraulic hoses are made of soft rubber and they have small dimples at the end which fit into holes on the metalwork the main set of hoses clip along the top of the boom and there's one on either side it can take a little bit of fiddling about to get the hoses fitted and they usually stay in place unless you handle the model a lot, in which case they could pop out. For the review of the detail we'll look at the Van Vliet model and start underneath. The undercarriage is fairly simple but there are some casting details on the underneath of the body. The metal tracks are good, the pads have bolt head details and the track frames are also detailed with the sprocket looking particularly good. The cab has got slightly tinted windows and the interior is modelled well with the controls visible. On the outside of the cab there are walkways although they can't be taken off for transport but there's really good metal debris protection to the windscreen and roof. The rest of the body has got various door panels detailed in the casting, there's metal handrails and the Van Vliet graphics look really sharp. On the opposite side there are nice grills and it's good to see the small detail of the mirror on the handrails. Looking down on top there's more very good detailing with metal handrails, equipment and hydraulics. There's more high quality modelling on the boom sections with hydraulic pipes within the casting, connections are made with small unobtrusive friction rivets and the plastic cylinder jackets have a good colour match. At the end of the boom the Okada Crusher looks great with its excellent casting details. The version of the model in the Hitachi corporate colour scheme has exactly the same detailing and it looks very good in the distinctive orange. The level of graphics is somewhat simpler but there are some nice warning notices on the back of the counterweight. And the Okada Crusher has a distinctive blue colour scheme. The model in Van Groningen colours looks really beautiful in its colour scheme. The panel handles are separately painted and there's a great graphic on the side of the machine which says the dream of every man and boy is to work with this extra large toy. At the rear there are more great graphics applied and the boom sections look just as sharp too. Overall it's certainly a great looking colour scheme. As usual we'll have a look at the crawler tracks first and they're too stiff to roll on a smooth surface but you can roll them quite easily by hand. The idler wheels are spring loaded to keep the tension on the tracks. And if you try them out on a rougher surface you can get them to roll but they're not completely free rolling. One smaller feature is that there's an opening access door to get you into the engine area. 
and that's a simple hinge mechanism that works well. The usual excavator functions will work very well on the model, it rotates well, and the movement of the boom sections is very good. The cylinders are very stiff, so you can pose it any way you like, and it'll hold the pose. And although the tool is heavy, it doesn't unbalance the model at all, it's very stable. Or if you want, you can fold the boom up really quite small. The cylinders are very stiff, as you can probably see here. But as long as you've got a few muscles, you can achieve the result. As another option, you can also pose the machine reaching up reasonably high if you want to. Looking now at the Okada tool, it rotates very smoothly at the end of the boom. And it's also got an excellent range of movement, so you can pose it in a variety of realistic ways. The jaws of the crusher can be opened up, and they do open to a wide angle. Again, it's fairly stiff, but you could therefore pose it biting onto something if you want. And if you close them up, just be careful where you put your fingers, because they could give you a nasty nip because of the tightness. There's one other possibility if you want to add some extra weight to the model for stability, and that is that the rear counterweight tray is removable. And when you take it off, you can see there's plenty of open space on the inside of the model where you could add some extra weight. And it's really just an easy matter to remove and reattach the rear counterweight tray. Another removable element is the crawler tracks, and they just unscrew. There are two small screws which you just have to undo. And again, it's quite an easy job as long as you use the right kind of screwdriver. And when both screws are undone, the crawler track just comes free from the undercarriage. And that gives a better chance to have a look at the crawler track, and that's really a very nicely made part. The rollers on the top of the crawler track frame do work, they're working rollers. And even on the inside, although they're very difficult to see, the rollers on the inside of the crawler track frame are also working rollers. So it's a very nicely engineered part by NZG. Without the crawlers attached, the body stands on four feet, which at the end of four beams, which are movable. And each of the pads can be individually unscrewed to lower them to the level that you want. With the model dismantled in parts, it then gives the great opportunity to pose it on a variety of suitable uh, haulage, if you've got it. So we'll start with the body and the counterweights on a big low loader, and then we can add the two crawler tracks onto a trailer and straighten it all out as we go. And although the boom and tool are riveted as one piece, you can put it onto a suitable flatbed truck. And then the whole thing makes quite an impressive display piece. In summary, these are great demolition models from NZG. The detailing is really good and the features work very well indeed. And the models look beautiful in the various colour schemes. These are outstanding models. Uh -huh.